In this video, we are going to show you how you can easily debloat your Windows 11. But before that, a quick insight. Bloatware is a term for unwanted programs pre-installed on a device or computer by the manufacturer. And your Windows 11 has a significant amount of bloatware, including various pre-installed Microsoft apps and potentially additional software from PC manufacturers, which can take up your storage space and clutter the system. And debloating is the process of removing these unwanted pre-installed programs and forced on you. Of course, nothing stops you from finding all the bloatware yourself and trying to remove them manually. But what if I told you that someone has made a script that removes all this bloatware at a click of a button? Would that be better? It's called Win11 Debloat and it's made by Raphael Jeffrey. The GitHub page will be in the video description. So let's get started. Once you're on the GitHub page, scroll down until you see the Quick Methods section and copy this command line underneath. You can also find it under the video description as well. Now go to your start menu and search Windows PowerShell. Right click on it and choose Run as Administrator. The debloat script is tested by me and it works flawlessly, but only do it at your own risk. If you wish to proceed, paste the command line to the PowerShell and hit enter, which will automatically download the Win11 debloat script and launch it in a new PowerShell window. You'll be presented with this debloat menu, which has three modes for you to choose from. The first one would be the default mode which will apply the default settings or let's say remove everything that falls under the category bloatware. If that what you want, type in number 1 as the command and hit enter. And you will be shown a list of key points which describes everything that it will do moving forward with this mode. Starting from the removal of the default selection of apps which is every app that is considered bloatware. To countless other system changes to improve your privacy and functionality. The problem with this mode that you have no control over it. I consider it as extreme. If you're okay with it, go ahead and hit enter and I will do everything automatically from there. Option 2 and 3 are similar modes that gives you the option to decide what to keep or what to delete yourself. The only difference between the modes is that mode 2 is a bit more advanced which lets you edit the script your needs and mode 3 is a bit more simple or conventional which lets you select or deselect apps for removal without making any other changes. So let's go with mode 3 which is simple yet gives you control over what to keep or what not to. So type in number 3 as the command and hit enter which will show you this app list or every application that falls under the category bloatware. Now check this little box called only show installed apps. This will make the list a little short and only show you the bloatware which are present in your system. Now select the bloatware you want to remove and unselect those you want to keep. You can choose all of them if you want or just the ones you don't use. Once you made your choice, click confirm. Now hit enter and that will start the debloating process. It may take a while depending on the number of applications you have selected for removal. So wait until it completes. And we have done it successfully. Now you can hit any key on your keyboard to exit the script and you can close the PowerShell window as well. So that's how you can easily debloat your Windows 11. Let us know your experience below. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you do. Share with your friends if you found the video helpful. Subscribe to the channel for more useful content. This is me your host Amal Rafiq. See you soon with another one.